Welcome back to Gene Forge 2. Let's go in the farmhouse that we found last time. Some some farmer called us in because there's Fioras out here, but it's okay, because I'm just that good. Hello? Don't mind if I just loot your house, do you? Bloody well hope not, because I'm going to. Yeah, I think I'll just take them, actually. You can't see me, so... Maybe one day I'll just stop taking all these articles of clothing. There's no point. You know? Oh, there you are. Who art thou? Must cook. I think amphoras were, like, valuable and stuff. Must cook. The servile stops and stares at the ground obediently when you approach. You talk to it for a little bit, but you don't learn anything. It is a very simple creature. Where's the farmer? Where's the damn farmer that called me in? Hello? What? What? There's no farmer here. There are no sharks in the bathtub. What the hell happened? The only one there is the servile. Servile! Now, if anyone can tell me what that's a reference to. You play bad games. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. It's good, actually. Just not my preferred entry into the series. Ah! Crystal Caverns. That sounds damn good to me, but not right now. I've got more important... Wait, more important things to do than get treasure? Gems? Fuck no. But I'm going to... I'm going to do other things anyway. Um, get into range. Cheers, a fire, fire disaster. It's like that saying, he needs a fire lit under his ass. He doesn't anymore. He dropped a tunic. It's a third skin tunic. Oh, it looks like this was once a marginally successful farm. Maybe it did alright before it was abandoned. Now it is empty. How do you know I ain't gone in yet? Weeds have sprouted up and rogues have started to tear down the farmhouse walls. You see no signs of recent rogue activity. What? There was one right here! And the wind has erased most of the tracks. The foul creatures must have taken what they wanted and moved on. Are you telling me? Bob is foul and stinks. Oh my god, look at all this trash. Which one's the third skin, that one? Plus two melee... Oh, minus intelligence, never mind. Why does wearing a third skin... Reduce my intelligence. Doesn't make any sense. Thards are dumb. Their skin doesn't radiate dumbness. And if it does, what the hell kind of stupid shaper invented the thards? Fire them. Idiots. Le idiota. I don't know what that is. French mixed with, like, Portuguese. -a. Interesting. This farmhouse has not been completely looted. In fact, there is a pile of nice-looking items in the middle of the s middle of the room ahead. I don't know. My brain saw a sentinel somewhere in there. It looks like someone gathered some coins and some other I items and placed them on the rug. Sorry. Now you know who piled the items here. It was rogues. You can tell that because they're currently ambushing you. Oh. You can hear the roars and footfalls approaching rapidly from outside. This is a real surprise. No, it isn't. It is, actually. Someone didn't just... Wait. You never expected such cunning from these simple creatures. Someone didn't just make these rogues. They made them cunning. That is a terrifying thing to do, as against shape or law, as anything you can do. Well, I want these items first. You know, if I'm going to die, I at least want to die with crystals in my pockets. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. I also want to put stuff down. Quick. Oh, I ain't got a P. I ain't got a penis right now. Um, drop some shit. Like, what's heavy? I don't know. 
There we go. Oh, oh shit. Don't punch me up the rectum. We'll be fine if this is all it is. There's probably some big boy. I reckon. Here, have this. How dare you come up the rear. You may be a Fiora and I wouldn't mind you coming up my rear. Sorry. We done? I think we done. That was bloody easy, wasn't it? Pick it all back up before I know we're actually in the clear, so that when more show up I'll be caught off guard and heavy. But you know, who really cares at the end of the day? Guess I'll die, shrug. You know, there's a building back there that I need to remember. No reason not to go in it right now. I bet you were worried, weren't you? I bet you thought I didn't notice that door over there. I thought I weren't going to go back for it. <laughs> Mistaken art thou. Oof. Big mistake. Bucko. You'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah. This was a small shaping chamber where experiments could be carried out a safe distance from town. It has been abandoned. No, it hasn't. I'm here. Holy shit. It's rubbish. But I guess it's worth it. 30 experience was my concern. My main get from that. Bum blah bum. Are you sure there's no farmer here? Look. I don't understand. It's like the character living in this house failed to spawn. I'm highly confused. Like whoever told me to come in because there are Fiora around was clearly intelligent. Oh well, I guess. Goodbye! Right, back to town I go to sell some shizen, and then I'll see you somewhere. Won't I? Where will I see you? I'm not entirely sure yet. Probably in... Crystal Caverns, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Oh, hello, I'm still in town here. Apparently I managed to kill the three rogues you wanted me to hunt. Well done! Wait, I should have got rid of the bobs. Uh, whatever. Well done! We should lose a lot less guards now. Now here is an item that I was asked to give to someone who did something very useful. Improve the morale of the troops and all that. He removes a gold ring from a pouch and solemnly hands it to you. What does solemnly mean? I don't know. Take care of it. We lost a lot of soldiers who would have lived if they had that. Should have given it to them then, shouldn't you? Fluff? What did you give me? Why fluff? I don't know. Shielding ring. I've already got that. No, I haven't. Creation armor. Hostile effect resistance. I think what I've already got is better. Anyway. We. Oh, here we go. Crystal caverns. Or whatever the hell. You walk into a large crystal cavern. Oi, it's crystal caverns. It is stunningly beautiful. You stare in awe at the massive crystal formations. They're huge, lovely, and very well formed. The stones glow with their own natural light, illuminating the gallery. It's not a gallery, it's a caverns. With a soft blue hue. Jackman. Crystals like these can be very useful in crafting magic items. You can understand, now, why so much effort went into settling Drypeak. As you stare, you notice flickers of movement among the stones. You aren't alone in here. Oh, what a surprise. There are shades haunting these chambers. Shades are insubstantial magical creatures. They have human form, but are not always ghosts. Sometimes they form naturally and spontaneously in areas with high natural magic. They are always unpredictable and can be dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, look, it's interactable. Oh. Well then, let's be coiful, shall we? Oh. Flawed shade. You try to talk to the shade. Closer inspection reveals that it is an amorphous blobby creature. Oh. Have fun with it. 
more a parody of the human form than an actual ghost or spirit, it doesn't respond to your words in any way. It is only a magical creation, completely lacking in intelligence. Shall we kill it? Maybe one day. Probably gonna get moody if I nick any gems in it. Can I fight you? Out of curiosity. Easy. Easy. And experienceful. Oh, you inspect the spire and find that there is one very nice crystal protruding from it. It is not flawless. It would be incredibly rare and valuable if it were. It would, however, be worth some money if brought back to town. It would be an easy it would be easy to break it off and pocket it. As you examine the spire, however, you notice that the shades are starting to get agitated. There aren't any here. I just killed the only one that was. They move around more quickly and vibrate anxiously. Oh, have fun with it even more. You back away. The creatures must not like it when you get close to the spires. The crystal is still there, tempting you. You could easily walk forward again and take it. Shall I? Oh, fucking hell. Go on, then. Bring it, if you're so tough. Oh, fuck. Look how angry. Look how easy. I'm on easy difficulty. We're on easy street. And it feels rubbish. Ah, I can't see. Because the ocean is passing by. That's what the camera looked like. Get me out of here. Oh dear. Look at them all. I'll do actually. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking hit. I've been stunned. It's glorious. It's just great. What the hell was that noise? They're even angrier ones now. Not stunned very well, were you? Fucking hell! Just die then, I guess. Can't hit him, whatever. Okay. Never mind, I wanted to get an idea of how much damage I might do to the icy ones, but... Can't bloody do anything, can you? Let's not fight the idiots. Let's just remember where that is for later. Get rid of as many shades as we can right now. I reckon the icy ones are gonna spawn later. Oh, I didn't know that was one! Now it's just the same pickle we were in before. Pickle dick. Can you fucking hit? It drives me insane. Why do I put points in dexterity if you're not gonna hit, you know? It's just a nut bar, is what it is. This whole thing is a giant nut bar. Are you an icy one? You look a bit darker. Still can't hit. Apparently. Fine. Well, I think we're just gonna make a note. You can't see it. Crystal caverns. Whole place, really. Take gems. Get ice shaded to death. Is my note. There, see? Told you. What did I tell you, eh? I'm still gonna kill the friendly ones while they're friendly. Whenever I come across them. If I can try to, anyway. Oh my god, they actually hit twice in a row. It's a miracle. And it's not even Christmas yet. What the? Who's angry? I ain't done anything yet. Yeah. 
Oh my days. They're all flawed ones. Maybe just all the flawed ones are angry. That's what I'm looking for. It only hit one of them. That was good. That was real, real good. Really good combat. Never hit. Really good. Can I have a turn, yeah? Never mind, they are angry. I'm getting out of here. I guess misses 0% means it's 0% chance to hit. This is ridiculous. Absolutely. I just want to hit one. All I want to do in life is hit one icy shade, but never mind, I'm just not going to kill any shades anymore. Fine. Alright, then keep your gems. Are they angry because I've already killed one? No, you're allowed to kill one and that's it. Oh shit. Done it again. Absolutely done it again for the last time. Look at them all. What is you guys' problems is... And no, don't give me any of that, hello? Any of that nonsense like, kill them when you can't, when they can't see them. There is a servile cowering back here. He is terrified to the point of incoherence. This creature has probably escaped, close to going rogue, or a bit of both. The presence of the shades doesn't bother it. It leaves the shades alone, they leave it alone. It seems to be working out. Oh, sweaty. Why are you, where are you from, servile? It moves back farther into its hiding place and whimpers. Whatever. Great. Another note to make. Um, bottom right. Escaped servar. Just like in infested woods. You back away. The creation is extremely relieved. Ah, I don't know if they're ever going to come up. Oh, well, that's me. Don't worry. I thought... Ex excuse me? I ain't done anything. Oh, the icy ones are just always evil, are they? <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm getting out of here. Getting out of this shithole. This is a place for n n idiots. Not nimbats. That's, um... What's her face? Right, that can bog off. Secret tunnels. What a nimrod. Secret tunnels? What? You finally step into this. What do you mean, finally? Well concealed and well guarded tunnel. It looks abandoned. This is odd considering the amount of effort someone went to to keep you from entering it. There's the double word again, 2 2. Though the floor is solid stone, it has alternately been worn smooth by passing feet or deeply rutted by rolling carts. A lot of people and materials have passed through here. It doesn't look like many people have been through here lately. The floor is covered with a barely disturbed thin sheet of mould. Great. Gonna die now because I'm breathing the fumes. The spores. The clusters of cobwebs and clusters of cobwebs have begun to form. Uh, this tunnel hasn't been used heavily for, you guess, several months. You suspect that if you are to find what has been going on here, and what happened to Barzal, the answer lies in the darkness ahead. Why? Why would it? It's just a tunnel. A random tunnel that I found one day. Maybe someone told me to go here. Someone was exca excavating a new tunnel here. That's very interesting, that is. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, right. 
boy, I could go for some water right now. What the fuck? There's no one in here. You notice a single pair of boobs, I mean footprints, in the goop on the floor. I thought it was mould. They're human footprints. The person was wearing boots. Are you saying only humans wear boots? Someone has been through here just ahead of you. You just said it hasn't been disturbed for like a month or whatever. Make up your bloody mind. Game. I can't believe this. All it does is feed me lies. Oh my god. It's a bloody novel a minute here. This chamber is a supply depot. Depot. Here, for some time, supplies of all sorts were, have been brought. From here, they were put into carts and rolled into the darkness. Where they went, you aren't sure. I'm going to find out, aren't I? Though this complex has been abandoned, it is not without defences. Oh, great. To the north, you can see several mines. Oh, I have to go through them. No, not again. Mines are one of the Shaper's more useful inventions. What do you mean, more useful? Are you telling me creatures that you control aren't useful? Or are less useful than mines? Uh, they are dumb, immobile little creatures with very volatile internal systems. They can be made to explode when anyone is nearby, or when just a Shaper is nearby. Some mines can't be removed safely. They have to explode. Other mines, like these, can be disarmed by a Shaper skilled in mechanics. Failure, however, can be disastrous. To try to disarm a mine, yeah, use it. You need mechanics. Yeah, we know. We know how mines work if we've watched the first game. Or played it ourselves. But do I want to? Is it an enemy spawner one? No, it isn't. That exploded quickly, though, before I could even reach the bastard. Tick, tick, boom! But, but... Well, oh, fuck, there was one there as well. They only give one experience, it's not worth it. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Good. You watch, I'll be at the end of the game one day, and I'll be one experience... like... on the level, or whatever. I don't want to carry this, um... this iron around with me, so I'm just going to leave it here if you don't quite mind. I'll be back! Hopefully. Pew! No more. No more! I think that's a spawner. Yeah. The ones that hiss first. Spawn enemies. Great. Shades again. Just to remind me of the good times I recently had. There's an explodo bozo. Oh shit. There's a bunch of them. What do you mean? Can't believe it. At least that confirms that these are explodey ones. What do you mean? The same as these ones. Fine, I'll bloody save it then. See? I don't get it. Oh shit, is that heavy? No, not heavy enough anyway. That's a spawner, right there. Whoa! Tease it. Whoa! Whoa! Ow! Bob's ass. It's a delicacy. As in it's delicate. See? See? Look how damaged it is. Here, have a heal, Bob's ass. It tastes good again. Absolutely cock. That's another spawnage. Come on! Oh my god. What is the point? 
How much do I get from killing those? 48. I don't know. Whoa. Just get stabbed, don't actually, apparently. God. Oh my god. Fuck, fuck, fuck's sake. Yeah, just missed like ten times in a row. No biggie. And then hit ten times in a row to make up for it. But it's too late, you can't make up for Bob's death. Whatever. Drives you frickin' insane, don't it? It bloody do. Right, I'm gonna bog off in a second. Oh shit. That's a big one, maybe. It was dark, that's all I know. I also... It's been too long, I don't remember if the tools sell for anything in this. Pew. Pew. That's a spawner. Might as well try, I guess. Give it the old college try. They could just all hit. I mean, all miss. And then the enemy could hit every bloody time, because that was very fair, that is. Extremely so. Oh yeah, I think I'll just bog right off then, won't I? Just disarm the trap. God, it's only like... 20 more experience. No! Do you have any idea how much I love experience? Don't you dare hiss at me, you little bitch. Oh, stop calling things bitch today. I'm sorry. We're in the bitch era. Ark, whatever the hell. Thingy bobby. Can I at least do this one? Because I'm not going to remember this one's here. What the hell is a turret? Who thought that was a good idea? At least we can hit things that don't move. I don't remember turrets coming out of spawners, hello. Bloody hell. Is thread worth anything? Great, thread just reminds me of Ultima Underworld. I finished playing through that in my own time. Damn good fun, but I remember. I threw away th some thread that I got on the first floor, because I thought, ah, it's just thread, it's not going to be useful. But then, like, five floors later, I needed it to make some lava-proof boots. That was good, wasn't it? Ooh, back into the caves we go. I just did all the celery and stuff. Did I open these? Yeah. What's over here then, instead? Worms. A good game series. They give one experience. Ow. And do a lot of damage. Because it's not fair. Ah. Oh. I ain't gonna heal. Who needs it? Me in a sec. Yes, actually. Uh, cure effects. Cheers. Ah, we're alive. I am, anyway. Don't know about Bob's. Probably brain dead, at least. I can't be asked to pick up shirts and stuff anymore. They're only worth, like, one. And those bolts of cloth? Yes. What did I have? Three of them? It was worth, like, 60 gold in total. I'm gonna be excited whenever I see bolts of cloth now. The threads, not so much. Nor the, to nor the tools. Look at that range. Bloody turret. Bob has massive range. It's not Bob. Bob is just Pop's language for... ...thing that exists. You had to miss. It's okay. So did he. It's not okay. So did we. Okay, it's, it's okay again. 
God, more staffage. I know. I remember beakers aren't worth anything because they're on the they're on the floor of the shop, and there's only one reason they would be there instead of being sold. That reason is they can't be sold. Bomb. Gosh, gosh. Seriously, I'd rather have, like... Even if it meant the enemies always hit. I'd rather have a mod that, like, ensures 100% hit rate, you know? You can probably easily do that by modifying the files. Maybe not 100%, but, like, bigger hit rate. That would love my life up. Whatever that means. As in, that would please me greatly. Love live. Because this is bloody insanity. I can't handle it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Probably stuff. It's probably me. It's not you, it's me. Oh, sorry, hi. I'm, I'm actually just going to cut the part here, because I accidentally went ten minutes over the time. I was getting carried away playing. Um, so, thanks for watching this video. Next time, we'll see more of the mine, won't we? And what secrets lie within. Perhaps new dangers? Perhaps new treasures? Perhaps both. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.